Hi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one thing I also wanted to mention is that it's important, I think, along your journey to not only realize what you're going through, but to maybe take pictures. A lot of people don't like to take pictures because perhaps they don't want to remember the not so fun times or, um, for whatever reason. Uh, but I thought I didn't take a ton of pictures, but I took a lot more pictures than I thought. And I had to do a project actually for my daughter to go and pull out pictures for her to take, to do a family tree at school. And in the process of looking for her pictures for her family tree to get the various family members, I actually just accidentally came upon all of the pictures that I've taken over the last 10 months. So there was the picture, you know, of, I actually took pictures of my breasts sort of like before this surgery or after this procedure, just so I had record of my own journey. Um, so it was very sort of therapeutic to sort of see, gosh, you know, I had so many uh, biopsies done that my breasts did not look pretty. So sort of the after of getting all of that gone and knowing that the disease was gone was just like, wow. And then to see, like, I ended up deciding to cut my hair short uh, before chemo because I knew I would lose it. And then it started coming out like in, I felt like I was shedding. So then I cut it even shorter. So I had pictures of that. And then I had, you know, the pictures of me bald. And then I had the pictures of when I painted my head for my children's birthdays because they both fall in May. And that was something they both wanted to do to celebrate at school was to have my head painted for their birthdays. I celebrated my last day of chemo by having my daughter paint my head. Um, and then, you know, I had the different surgeries and then the stuff for radiation. And I went to a friend's wedding in July with my beautiful bald head. And just looking at all of that brought back such wonderful memories of how strong I am and how I have really persevered through the last 10 months. And while sometimes it feels like it's flying by, other times it feels like it's not, um, I just... I look at those pictures and I said, there's somebody who's a survivor. There's somebody who is doing everything they can to make sure that all the treatments they're giving work. So just don't forget to celebrate the little things as well as the big things, as well as finishing, you know, the bigger treatments. Celebrate the little things. Like today was my first day ever, really, taking my kids to school by myself because last year it ended up that some of the kids went half day. One of my, my son went half day and then my daughter went full day. So it was still like a run around of get him, you know, and all that stuff. And my mom was here. And so now it's just me. And this morning was a wonderful representation of my family and how we as a unit work together. So it was a very good morning for me. And just don't forget to celebrate the little things as well as the big things. And you'll you'll realize maybe maybe you like yourself bald. Like my daughter said today, Hey mom, I you know, you sent a picture of you and dad, but I want a picture of you bald. So I found the picture from my friend's wedding and sent it in with her for her family tree. So there you go. Um have a great day. Mm -hmm.